What is going on? Welcome back to Trending Stocks. Today I want to talk to you about Virgin Galactic tickers SPCE. I want to give you a good breakdown of what the technicals and data points are saying and potentially from here where things might be going. Before I get into any of that, make sure you guys hit that thumbs up and subscribe. Always greatly appreciate that. And without further ado, let's get right to it. So it is currently down 0.39% and generally speaking, that's actually doing fairly good compared to a lot of the broader indexes and other markets as well. So in comparison though, I just want to give you a good breakdown because you can even see on the intraday chart though did hit a low today of four dollars and 88 cents so very very low but it is bouncing back and it is above a lot of the pivotal moving averages at least in the short term so generally speaking i think virgin galactic is having a good value rally behind the scenes and of course if you look at for instance stochastic it is a little bit oversold potentially so it is at 36 it could obviously go down a little bit more but Hypothetically, you also do see a little bit more of a deviation. So red line above the black showing a little bit more of an underlying bear sentiment is at least wanting to form. But that is largely because of just a huge amount of fear that is out in the market right now. So the fear and greed index is currently at 28. And unfortunately, I do anticipate it to really go down into extreme fear closer to the 22nd. So that is when the feds are going to be most likely raising their rates. But once again, I think that is what is happening behind the scenes and I'll give you a quick update as far as shorts what they are doing because on a lot of the other growth stocks I've been looking at today they're having a field day so short scores currently 80 utilization is 100% and as far as what shorts are doing within the first hour of the trading day give or take they're actually returning 29,000 shares so this is exactly what I love to see on which is also very much bullish the fact that on a very much red day shorts are returning shares that is very positive that's something that you definitely want to see 22.8 percent is a short interest which is a percentage of the free float and the total amount of shares being shorted is 52.13 percent so again let me know your thoughts on that in the comments below but definitely it might be turning very much green in the at least short term potentially at least right now so once again let me know your thoughts when it comes down to it no potential news or anything like that and uh Again, when it comes down to the SEC filings, the latest one was on March the 7th. And basically, they just changed accounting firms, if I understand that correctly. But once again, uh, not really too much. So in my opinion, at least, this is where a lot of the technicals are kind of just guiding where Virgin Galactic is going. And based on the recent sell-off after their earnings and kind of the volatility afterwards, it actually was a and is a pretty good discounted value as of right now of course i'm not a financial advisor so you guys do your own due diligence at the end of the day if you guys are looking for seeking alpha for instance as well they do have an amazing seven day free trial link in the description below or just hit on the comments and definitely uh, just pop over there it has actually a lot of good content as you can see and even looking for instance at the grading the growth is currently at b so in general if there is a lot of good kind of momentum within the economy then stocks such as virgin is going to really much benefit and over and above that i just wanted to bring this up because uh, my last update video i think was around a week ago with virgin and as you can see march the 7th the new rating for and from Wells Fargo is at $2.50 and they did reduce that down to $3. So of course, that's uh, not necessarily meaning anything because when it comes down to it, it's a very good growth stock that's going to really start appreciating in Q2, so the following quarter. Up until that point, it's just gonna follow the market right now. And on a side note uh, from this analyst from Wells Fargo who gave a $2.50 target, their overall success rate is 67%. So again, you guys interpret that how you see fit. But when it comes down to it, like I said, I feel it's just gonna be the technicals and based on the options activity today, you do see a lot of puts. So once again, a little bit more of a conflicting information. So technicals for the most part are optimistic. Number of uh, puts being purchased, clearly there's downside, shorts returning. So again, I think this is a very good representation of a very confused stock. There's some bullish activity, some bearish, and nobody necessarily knows 
where it's going to go. But generally speaking, I just want to quickly go over this. So it is at $5.06 as of right now. So right below the S1. So it's going to be trading between the S2 and the S1 most likely, unless there's something that does substantially change within the economy in the next little bit. But most likely you can anticipate between $4.71 and $5.11. Most likely, of course, I could be wrong. But like I said, the technicals are for the most part just going to be following the broader market and the market is selling off right now. So very rarely do any growth stocks really kind of explode out during a downtrend. But what to anticipate though, is most likely it just be trading between that 50 and 100 day moving average, which conveniently is exactly what did happen today. So if it does break below that 100 day moving average right here, then it most likely will overall trade within that uh, range that I explained to you. So once again, let me know your thoughts on all of that in the comments below. If you haven't already hit that thumbs up and subscribe, I always greatly appreciate that. Give yourself a shout out in the comments below if you have been buying, selling, holding, where you see space going for instance in the short term long term where do you see things going i did recently get a comment saying do i feel that this is going to go to 35 dollars or back around there in reality um, if the economy does go through an expansion stage which a lot of institutions have come out and said that the second half of 2023 is going to have a massive expansion then in theory it could be possible likelihood probably not but of course like i said these videos are for entertainment purposes only so let me know your thoughts on all of this in the comments below if you haven't already hit that thumbs up and subscribe i always greatly appreciate that if you do like a lot of my content and want to support the channel take a look at my memberships link in the description below or just hit the join button at the bottom of the screen with that said appreciate you guys watching let's all make a lot of money on Virgin Galactic.